And still on our theme of planet Earth and its great blue depths, uh, over the past couple of weeks, Hong Kong audiences have had the chance to see movies in the Hong Kong San Francisco Ocean Film Festival. The event was launched simultaneously on both sides of the Pacific Ocean to introduce projects and initiatives that may help improve our ocean environment. So the, the, this, the beauty of what we're doing actually is each uh, showing has five to nine movies and the, so they're short and long um, and all kinds of topics. Sailing, paddling, really anything that is, happens in the ocean is a uh, fair game for this kind of movies. Initially an entrepreneur concentrating on environmental technology businesses, in 2010, Doug Woodring founded a non-government organization called Ocean Recovery Alliance to combat threats to the health of our oceans. This year, he decided to introduce San Francisco's Ocean Film Festival to Hong Kong, with a simultaneous launch in the two cities on March 9th. During the two-week event, more than 40 films and videos were shown. It's a great way for filmmakers to actually also show these in uh, a theater uh, environment. Australian Robert Raymond has been involved with surfing for more than half a century. He's also a Hollywood film producer. In 1994, he was an associate producer on Spielberg's Schindler's List. In 2010, he completed a documentary about surfing, Going Vertical, The Shot of Revolution. It was shown in last year's Cannes Film Festival. Going Vertical tells the story of the shortboard revolution which happened in 1967. The shortboard revolution that came in 1967, within six months, boards went from 12 feet or longer down to six feet. And this was a really important revolution. And suddenly, for the first time ever, surfers could go vertical, hence the title of the movie. Robert says the impact of shortboarding was felt far beyond the realms of surfing. It influenced other people so that skateboarding took off all over the world. Snowboards were invented because of the shortboard revolution. Kiteboards, wakeboards, all of the extreme sports today. Festival organizers included productions that reflect Hong Kong concerns. Finn and Tide is Turning, released by the Hong Kong Shark Foundation, highlight the devastating effect of the taste for shark fin soup. When that global problem is concentrated in one place, um, and that place is only 7 million people who are pretty well networked, um, with something like film, we've really got the opportunity to, to get a message out to them and, and to change the world. We made Finn a, a few years earlier, about three, four years ago, uh, because one of our members, Alex Hofford, had collected a lot of footage of shark fin fishing, shark fin markets around the world, like for in Yemen and Mozambique, for example. And um, we just thought it was a good way to highlight the scale of the issue back then. Stanley Shade and Bertha Lowe, local members of Hong Kong Shark Foundation, they also helped on the productions. Yeah, 